Uh, this mug says for always, forever for always for love, the Wallace Prom 2014. I went to, to that alone. We're going to talk about Doctor Who today, folks. Hello. Um, take my glasses off because I have the way I look in them. I almost said Netflix and Xfinity. Almost screwed that up. I like Netflix and Netflix. Okay. Next, okay. Well, Netflix Entity. Let's just get that out of the way right there. Um, so, Disney XD has a channel. And on that channel are shows. Kids shows. Doctor Who? <laughs> <laughs> that either starts today or in ten days. I don't remember. Like, today and today? Well, I don't know, but I'm excited. And I haven't checked my team for it yet. Yeah, they're doing Doctor Who on Disney XD. Um, which is good, because I don't have Netflix or great internet, so this is actually going to help me out. It's because she has never seen Doctor Who. And someone here like literally here in this building who might be recording a video with their friend on the phone right now has just I'll let you guess who in the comment section below definitely not you who's seen it anyway so um why should I be excited to watch it <laughs> um because it's effing awesome and you'll love it uh, <laughs> that's, that's my answer it's effing awesome and you'll love it well, I mean, you gotta give me some reasons why, so I need to interested in watching it, because I don't know anything, except there's a, the TARDIS, the doctor, the doctors, same doctor, but multiple doctors, same, I don't know. <laughs> um, because it's cool, it gives us something else to talk about. Okay, cool. You have to convince me. You have to convince the audience. It's like... It's sci-fi... Almost to the extreme. Sci-fi to the extreme. Yeah. That sounds so terrifying. You've got time travel, you've got aliens, you've got space, sometimes there's ghosts. There was even a mummy once. I think you'll know which episode that's in because mummies in the title. There's robots. There's cyborg people things. There's lots of stuff in Doctor Who. So I suggest everyone goes to watch Doctor Who. Um, I'd like to point out this is um, something I kept trying to say yesterday and the video was lost to time. We didn't speak of those. Flashback. Ah! Anyways. <laughs> um, in the video <laughs> yesterday I was going, I was saying how this is a new generation of kids is going to be able to see Doctor Who and have access to that without having to have Whovian, that's what we call ourselves on the internet here, Whovians, we're Whovians, okay? Uh, without having Whovian, uh, parents. It's like, what's Doctor Who? I'm gonna watch that. Why, why is the Doctor glowing orange, gold thingy, after he got zapped by the laser? Where's the Doctor? That's not the Doctor, that's a different man. Aww. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of sad if you think about it. Well, I'm excited to watch it. Um, I'm excited to watch it so these are just going to be the newer ones? 8 to 12, I believe? 9. 9 to 12. 9 to 12, okay. Though 8 does make an appearance in there. 
and the War Doctor, which uh. is between eight and nine. Complicated stuff. It's weird. Okay, so what about the first eight? Mm. Well, I don't know what they're doing with that. Because if they were to try and air... First off, I think a lot of the older episodes are lost. Second, if they were try to try to air every Doctor Who episode ever, that'd take probably over a year. Because they got to count for a schedule. I would be fine with that. They have to have other shows on. They have to have... Um, commercials, so it's not like you could just binge watch, keep going, and, uh, yeah, there's, like, a lot of different things you gotta factor in, it's like, this'll take over a year of Doctor Who, like, I'd totally do it. <sighs> Especially considering the running time for all the newer episodes, at least, I don't know about the older ones, but the newer ones have been at least an hour long. If you add in commercials, that is. Which, it's not like they're going to not add in commercials. Let's advertise our other great shows, like, um... The Gravity Fall show is pretty good. Everyone loves that. Love We're not that. talking about that show today. We're talking about Doctor Who. Um, what else was I going to say? But yeah, the commercial that, like, they showed for, like, series, they called it series, not seasons, in Britain. So when they say series one, they mean season one. So it's become natural for me to, like, shoot out the word series. Um, season one through eight of the newer version of Doctor Who, not the, like, older, sort of cheesier effects, um, mostly it's in black and white, um, of the newer Doctor Who, season one, through, I want to say eight, that's right, yeah, eight, season one through eight of the, uh, um, since 2005, they, uh, See, I'm doing that thing where I'm trying to talk and then the words aren't... My brain gets confused. Um, what was I even saying? <laughs> oh. Something Dr. Who. Yes, they did a trailer for the, like, the entire... From 2005 to now of Doctor Who. And I like how they did it because, uh... The, um, they had it towards, like... It's like, show some clips from the show. It's time! Show some more clips for a new kind of hero. When is, um, the Doctor Who 10-year anniversary of the new one come out? Uh, what, what? Anniversary for the Doctor Who. For the, like, new season after season 8? Or yeah. for the episodes on Disney XD? The 2005. Oh, um, <laughs> 2005. Let's see. Now... I'm assuming they're doing that just because they said one through eight, and people are counting this new season as eight, uh, nine, the one that's about to come out as nine, and the one with Christopher Eccleston, the ninth Doctor, is nine, or is the first, whatever. They're counting the season with the ninth Doctor as season one on Netflix, so I'm assuming... We're going to count it like that with, uh, this. Um. But they showed very little of the Ninth Doctor in the 2005 Doctor in, uh, the trailer. Who's your favorite Doctor? What? Who's your favorite Doctor? Who's my favorite Doctor? Um. My very first doctor, the eleventh doctor, twelfth doctor, mm. ninth doctor. Mm. I tried to get no, it. No, no, no. Ninth no, doctor. Sorry, pick the eleventh. 
Okay. I'm still trying to figure out what exactly is going on with the... Dark. Okay, so it said starting Saturday, May 9th, the network will feature a preview airing the Season 2, Episode 1. Okay, yeah. Okay, so the, you missed the first, well, technically the second episode of the season. Um, June 13th, week-long programming event. Okay. You know what? I don't know any of the details, and it's kind of confusing me. Trying to figure out all the details <laughs> for this. It's like, um, when is it going to air? Oh, let me just look that up. 20 articles posted on the same day. It's like, okay. 20 articles posted on the same day. Or about yeah. the same day. Like, within the same three days, is like, Disney XD will air Doctor Who. Doctor Who on Disney XD. David Tennant, Doctor Who on Disney XD. It's like, okay, yeah. I'm s I look at the Disney XD and all I see is that face map, dang it. <laughs> you guys know the face I'm talking about? Of course you do. The face of Bo. Well, you know who the face of Bo is, but you know how you find out who the face of Bo is? I have to watch it. You gotta watch Doctor Who. Well, then I will watch Doctor Who. Just because the face of Bo is... <laughs> the face of Bo is a dirty... Whoa, I'm not going to say that. You got where I was going with that. Mm -hmm. I actually need to be leaving soon. What? I actually need to be leaving soon. No, I just I clicked on an ad, I think. I'm trying to get to the Disney XD website now so I can figure this out. Um. Because articles are useless. I just get the details on Doctor Who airing on Disney XD, please? Jeez. Like, this should not take so long to figure out. Okay, so there's nothing in the website. What? Um, I haven't found anything. You should wrap up the video and you should just say that you guys should watch it if you haven't watched it. Um, you guys, should, apparently they're not airing the Ninth Doctor. They're skipping him, which is, you know, skip the Ninth Doctor. He is who brought the show back in 2005. Without his success, there'd be no Doctor Who today. As a Whovian, this is where I stand. He was my first Doctor. And Doctor yeah. Who will go on forever. Yes. I mean, he, the show technically, in a way from the past, how it was in the 60s up until like the 90s to when it came back in 2005, the show regenerated, and so it came back in another form. And yeah. since then, it's actually been... I think the fans of the show actually do that too. We regenerate? Yes. Yeah. Are we then regenerate. Time Lords? Does that make me an alien? I think it does. Where's my TARDIS? I'm in my TARDIS. This is the TARDIS. My house, it's the TARDIS. Yeah. Well, Richie, I need to go. She needs to go. I need to mow the lawn later. Okay. Not right now, because I'm eating, I'm eating food and drinking root beer. But yeah. Alright. We will see you guys for 20,000 more videos within the next three seconds. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you very much for watching. My getting upset that they did not have the Ninth Doctor in there. How <laughs> dare you, Disney? How dare you? Yeah.
You just skip the ninth doctor. Go to Netflix if you're not gonna be able to see the ninth doctor. If you're gonna watch this, go to Netflix. People will start binge watching on Netflix and they're like, "What? Well, why was that guy not in there? He was important. He was the doctor. Doctor who, though." Have fun, everyone. Bye. Bye.